All right, so we've got a few races today. Actually, there's a fair, fair bit. Um, I haven't been on for a while. I've been busy the last few Sundays, so it should be interesting. Missed out on a big one last week on the long weekend, um, but that, but that happens. Uh, let's just add the screen here. Let's have a look at the Telegram for today. All right, so um, races, Mooney Valley. Ten races we're betting into. I just click on Rose Hill. Ten races as well. And then we got two at... I still don't know how to say this. Is it Doomben? 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 I don't know. Doomben, that's what I'm going to say. Half a unit. See, so this is where I'll jump on Bet M. Number five. And I'll chuck on 25. And then a unit. Oh, okay. So we'll jump onto sports bet. We'll go number eight. One unit. And then we'll go on tab. So we'll, what are we on? Five and eight. See, so five or eight. So eight's looking good here. Fifth is. See, fifth got fourth. If we had that on baggy bet, we probably would have got the bonus. It'd be interesting to see what you guys do during your breaks. I don't know if you just... I guess you can watch the footy. Watch Twitch as an option. There's probably some other sort of work you could do. Um, <clears throat> thing is, if you're getting a lot of bonus bets, it can be quite... Um, this is just a lot to do. It's kind of hard because you can't really play games. Like, I couldn't play League of Legends while doing this. Um, I could probably play chess. You know, you could play... You could play, like, a solo-based game, which isn't really my style of thing. I'm more into competitive. Um... Yeah, so if you could play that type of stuff because you can pause the game or whatever, but yeah, it's kind of like a weird thing. It's like you need to be active, but you're not, it's not totally like it's, it's just, uh, yeah, it doesn't take a lot of time, but it's like you still need to be engaged and be organized. Otherwise, you fuck stuff up, which I'm sure we've all done. Especially with Betfair, you could really fuck up with Betfair, um, trying to turn over your bonus bets. So you really need to pay attention to that sort of stuff. In terms of like placing the bets that um, the system gives you, like it's never going to end up that bad, you know. You never, you shouldn't really mess something up that badly. You should really only, you know, you might mess up. You might put a full unit on instead of a half unit, which isn't the end of the world. Uh, but yeah, it's when you turn over the bonus bets when you can really fuck stuff up. Like if you, you know, lay the wrong horse and it wins, um, and then you don't back it, then you you're just double double L's and it's, yeah. I don't think I've done that yet. Well, I might as well show my other camera because this is kind of how I usually have stuff set up. So as you can see, I have Telegram there and then I use this half my one to have whatever I want. So usually Twitch or YouTube or um, whatever, all right? Uh, but then the rest of my screens is kind of like this. Um, so that's obviously the one, that's a vertical monitor and then have horse power and a bet fair. That's the thing with this sort of like if you were gonna stream this, you could obviously stream it with a minute delay and then it would be you could um you could communicate with chat and stuff like that and that would be fine. Like you could have the whole you know, you could have the system chat in your chat. Um and everyone, you know, celebrates or discusses the last race. Should be fun, but you know, there's big br breaks in between. <clears throat> Four dollar odds. Midwest. What were we on here? One and two. One. Hold on. We yeah, hold on. That's good. I don't know where two finished. That was only like a two dollar horse. I honestly think if, like, since I've joined the system, if we won every single photo, I honestly think I'd we'd be up an extra. Like, I, I honestly, I don't think we've won a photo since I've joined. But yeah, like, I, I've told mates about this exact thing as I'm like, oh yeah, I'm making this much money. You know, I have losing weekends, but like, here's my here's my profit and loss, mate. I look at, I show them my charts. And they still just can't be fucked. It's like, oh, I don't want to spend my Saturdays doing that. And in my head, my argument is always like, yeah, but you spend all week working for like, you know, maybe a hundred and maybe $200 a day. 
and you can do this for five hours and make, you know, you can make $500 on a Saturday. Why would you not just do that? It's not like, it's not like it's Saturday night. You can still spend, like, Saturday afternoons, if you're not playing sport, you kind of just, what are you doing? Watching NBA, watching the footy. You can do that at the same time. If you're like a degenerate gambler, which I've got heaps of friends who are, this is, you still get the thrill from it in a way because you're still wanting the, like, especially for this, because you're wanting the horse to win. The way I used to do it, I used to do laying, which is you want the horse to finish second, third, and then you turn over all the bonus bets. The bonus bets are your profit, um, which I think is the safer match betting technique. You won't have very big losing days. Like, each bet's costing you $5. Um, so if you lose every bet for the day, let's say you only lose a total of 100, whereas this, you could have a you could have a horrible day. You could be down... I don't know what the worst day ever is on the system. We can probably have a look. Hold on. Sorry. So here, you can see that's the worst day. 15.2. But, dude, a couple days... I guess they wouldn't have been that... Ever. Oh, no, that was a while ago. But look at a couple days before. 27... Dude, look at this day. 34 units. How much profit is that? Oops. Dude, $1,700 day. That's just... That's crazy. I don't know if I've ever... I don't think I've ever had a $1,700 day. I had a big day when Bet R got released and they had that double stake return. That was... That was crazy. Finish second, third, fourth, or fifth. Get double your stake back in bonus bets. Dude, for a note, for a layer, that was heaven. And dude, I swear everything was hitting. I swear everything was hitting. That's when I got hooked. I was like, holy shit, this is a cheat code. And then I bet I kind of like tape it off. But then I was like, oh no, there's still value here. Um, I was still doing, I was still laying then. Um, I think I tried no lay for a bit and I was like, I don't really know what I'm doing here. That's when I was like looking towards the system. I was like, because they actually send you the tips, I'm like, which is, and I was like, I want to, I know this is going to maximize my profit, and I'm probably going to have to bet less, when you're laying, you're just betting everything, expected value, that's what I was doing anyway, everything, it's positive EV, I was like, it's positive EV I'm betting, which is not a bad strategy, but it's just so many bets, that the, the bookies are like, I feel like you're going to get, you just get banned quicker because they're like, this guy's just betting promo, promo, promo on every, every every single betting site that I had, right? Whereas this, it's like I can spread my bets over multiple bookies uh, throughout the week or throughout Saturday, right? I don't have to smash one bookie or just, yeah, get on every single race. Like, for example, let's say there was a a dollar fifty horse, right, that I could I had that was positive EV that I could um, I could lay, I was just loading up because like, oh, if this horse finishes second, third, I get $50 bonus bets across all of the betting sites that are offering the promo. So I was like, just doing it. And it was, I was still making, I was making money, obviously, but obviously sustainability-wise, it was just too hard to manage because I'm betting way too much, way too many bets. Whereas this is, you know, how many have we got today? 20, we got 22 races and you're betting on probably two, 2.5 per race, maybe 2.3. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit easy to manage in my opinion. That's when I knew I was starting to get hooked. I knew the benefits of like match betting. I knew how profitable it was when I started like not caring, having to top up my bet fair. Cause I remember when I first started, I put $200 in. I was like, fuck, that's $200. Right. And then I was like, oh wait, I'm profiting. Yeah. I'm making money. Why would I not just keep putting it in? I like the money's still there. It's just, it's just, a, it's just a separate bank account, really. That's how you need to think of like your sports bet account. Obviously, some people need it in their bank account because they need to spend it um, like on you know everyday stuff. Uh, I was just in a fortunate position that I could just keep it in my betting accounts and not worry about withdrawing. Like That was never really an issue. So I've never withdrawn from any site. Any site that I'm not banned on. Wait, is that, did I say that right? Any site that I'm not banned on I have never withdrawn. Yeah. So every bookie that hasn't promo banned me, I still have all my money in there. I've never withdrawn. Because I don't even want a review. I don't care. I'll keep I'll keep my money in there until they pretty much uh, ban my bookie... Uh, book ban, ban, promo ban me. I've ran my tab account down to zero so many times. I've been very lucky on my tab account. Um, 
that I just keep running it to zero. And it just ends up in my bet fair, obviously. Got number four, one unit sports bet. Oh shit, I'm not even in the right race here. Oh shit, this is where I'm not prepped. See, two 1.5s is kind of a pain because you need to have four bookies prepped. A lot of people would struggle if you're betting on a phone. Um, if you're a starter, I would 100% recommend getting a decent sort of computer setup going. You could probably do it with just one monitor. This is a little overboard. Obviously, I'm wasting, you know, I've got OBS running. I've got horsepower, it doesn't need to be open. I've got Betfair open right now that doesn't need to be open. Looks like 9 wanted to go, but it's not. Oh, no. 9 does want to go. Come on, 1, hold on. Don't get losing a photo. Dude, I'm. So, uh, that's another photo loss, I reckon. Dude, I'm telling you, we do not win photos. On to the next. That's what I honestly think the system should be called. But I don't think that was like... I don't know if that was a phrase that's like... Is that something you use somewhere else? On to the next. Fearless Rider number 12. 12 and 9. Both, if if either win, not bad. Because I think we got $5 odds on number 12. Number 9's a bit stark in there, I think. Yeah. It's 12 kicking that was 12 comes second that was a very short race i just feel like onto the next kind of encapsulates the entire mindset of being successful in the system just be numb with the losses and move on to the next race number eight four dollar horse one unit second and first that's what we deserve what do we want to win? We want 8 over 7, but this is fine. Happy with that. Yibiote. Let's go. Yeah. First, is that the first win of the day? No, we won one race, but we made like $5, so that's fine. Good, 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 good. The League of Legends and match betting is very similar. It's all about not getting tilted. Where With match betting, I am good at not getting tilted. I'm never, if I have a bad day, I don't really give a shit. Um, but with League of Legends, it takes me, like, my ADC to die two times or not fight with me, and I'm losing my mind. So, um, I guess because I've seen the upside of, um, match betting, it helps. With League of Legends, I'm still yet to see the upside. So, um, that's probably why I get so tilted. Alright. Ten and five. Ten... Five was the clear favourite, no? So ten, we got good odds on here. This is very nice. That's perfect. That's exactly what we needed. That's two races in a row. Holy shit, all on one horse. Alright, number five. 50, place bet. So 125 on the fave here. And 25 on... Number three. This should be an exciting race. Five and three. Does it matter who wins this? I feel like we get... Ooh, photo between the two. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Ooh. That's very rare that you have a photo between the two horses that you have money on. I'm going to go that at $4.80. Number three, Red Wave. Is it one unit? Yep. Three? Three! Go! Yes! Four dollar horse? What did we get it at? What did we get that at? Four dollars sixty, let's go. Why don't we get twenty five back? Wait. What the fuck? Has my wait a minute. I just realized has my fucking Is that the promo today? I didn't even read this. Or is my Oh my god. I didn't even read that, bro. My bonus bets have changed to 25. Holy shit. They've restricted me. Oh my goodness. I didn't even notice this whole time. 
Shit, that's a massive L. Why did they not email me that though? Unless my email is linked to my old email. Oh, that's a massive L. I didn't even realize that all day. Luckily, I've been getting all my bonuses on. I guess I would have noticed it on tab though. Why would they not? Following a recent review of your sports betting activity, how did I not see this? We have made the decision to limit maximum value of sports bet promotion offers for bet returns at $25. This means that if you place a bet on eligible markets selecting a bet return promotion, the maximum bonus bet re refund that you are eligible to receive will be $25. Palmer. Number five. No, the outside. No, the outside comes. Oh. Dude, that the outside comes flying, bro. Look at that. Oh my goodness. The leaps on it. Holy shit, 14 just went for it there. Number nine third, so half a unit back. Don't know where number five was. That's all we're doing. Half a unit. Horse number two. Jim, the other horse is trolling. Number six, fuck off. Come on. Dude, stop touching my boy. Dude, what the fuck was that, bro? Selfish, selfish jockey. That's bullshit. Kept touching him. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I just drained my fucking bet fair, you dog. Might come third, maybe. Come on, get third, get third, get third. Nice. Not bad. <laughs> All right. Ah. Sorry. Mooney Valley race six. We are on number two, the boat, and number five, Lady of Honor. A win here would be pretty good. I think they're both around four dollar odds. We hold, hold, hold. I don't know if it's the camera angle or I feel like it's the camera angle on the leader. They always choke, bro. Mother. $9.30 horse. Yeah, no, it was just going. Uh, Ron, number two here. Could be a nice little... In there if it gets up. <clears throat> oh, it is coming a little bit. Maybe third. Ooh! It came at the end there. Give it another 50 metres. Did it get third, maybe? Nah, nah, definitely not. Alright, Rose Hill race eight, number five, two units. Wait, it's five wait, what are we? Five. Oh, we don't want the inside to kick. No, 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 don't kick. No. I told it to kick. No. I thought we were on the outside. Alright, so we got Mooney Valley race seven. We got a unit and a half on alligator blood, number two. And a half a unit on, on Thunderstruck, number one. Come on, two. Kick. Come on. Fuck me. Oh, my God. All right. Race nine, Rose Hill. Unit and a half on number two, Uncommon James. A half a unit on number six, Asphora. Asphora. Just can't get one that just flies through today. Nothing's flying through. So two got the unit and a half back, so more bonuses. Asphora didn't even get close, I don't think. I can't really see. Six. I think it's kind of in the middle there, no? Alright. Not much luck today. So here we are with Mooney Valley Race. That uh, sums up the day up about, right? All right. I don't know where the camera was there. Mooney Valley Race 8 now. Um, 
Who are we on? Hold up. We are on number 12, one unit, and number two, one unit. 12's holding on. Is that 50 meters? Do not! Yes! Finally! I don't even know if that is, is even a big win, but it's all right. It's all right. All right. Rose Hill 10. We have... Horse number one, one unit. Horse number three, one unit. One place, maybe? Three win. Oh, that's good. All right. So three... What's that? That was $4 odds, so... Not bad. That's good. Uh, I'm in... I'm... I'm in able? I'm in able two units. I wasn't even paying attention. I, I thought it was just I'm in able. I was waiting for the next one. Then I was like, wait a minute. It's there twice. Fuck. Just got on it. He is going, but... It's just left it way too late. Damn. All right, guys, that's that for the day. Um, ended up pretty badly, down $417.50. Um, those results are based off of um, how the system shows their results. That's not exactly how my day went. Um, Baggy Bet actually were paying out to fourth, and so were Sports Bet. Um, so if the horses that they were telling us to tip on finished fourth, um, on the system they would show as losses, but I was getting um, bonus backs for those when they were finishing fourth. And there was a couple, so... Uh, my day wasn't as bad as uh, $417, plus I turned my bonus bets over at 75%. The system records it at 65% retention. So um, overall, my day wasn't as bad um, as, the, as what I've shown in this video, um, but I like to show the true representation of what the system advertised, so I'm not giving any you know sort of false information. So yeah, that's all, guys. Um, hope to see you soon.